What's going on everybody, it's Jesse with what I believe are the 5 best city of tweaks currently out for iOS 6.1 and the iPhone 5. So for those of you that have not jailbroken your device yet, I will leave an annotation on the video right here as well as a link in the description to my tutorial on how to jailbreak your device. To begin with number five, the first tweak that I'm currently using and I believe is one of the best ones out for the iPhone 5 right now is called Torch. When you're on your locks, you can see I have this lightning bolt symbol right here. And when you press that, what it does is turns on the LED light on the back of your device. So if you press it, you can see that my LED light does come on and it will stay on even when the lock screen goes off as you can see right there. If you press it again, and it's sort of hard to see through my camera, if you press it again, there you go, it will turn off. So that's a great, uh, definitely one of the fastest tweaks that you can use to get the uh, LED light on from your iPhone 5 without having to even unlock your screen. And again, this is Torch from So Sid. the next tweak that I have is called OXO. What it does is changes and improves your multitasking switcher for the iPhone. Of course, you normally just have your four icons, as you can see, it basically look like this. But what this does, it takes it a step farther. It actually puts a full-size screenshot of where you last, last left off, as well as the original icon that you would see on your home screen. So I'm just going to show you by double-tapping the home button. And as you can see, it has a screenshot of all the apps that where you just left it off. And as well, as I said, the stock icon. And the great thing about this is if you hold down an app, just like you would normally to delete it, it doesn't let you just delete one. It says, do you want to remove all the apps from the multitasking tray? And when you hit yes, they're all gone. It's as simple as that. I'll just demonstrate one more time. I'm just going to go get some stuff or open some apps real quick. And so you double tap. And again, it's very nice, very elegant. And the good thing is when you swipe to the left, you still have your music features. And it also has a direct app to take you to the music. Fortunately, I don't have any content, so I can't show you that. And if you swipe one left, you get some uh, great toggles. So, of course, you have your rotation lock, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, your mute, airplane mode, tethering, and a hotspot, as well as a brightness slider down here, which is actually really hard to get to sometimes. But again, this is OXO. It is in the Cydia store, and it's an improved multitasking switch. So the third tweak that I have is called Zeppelin. You may have noticed it in the video already, but as you can see, I have a Dark Knight, the, or the Batman logo, up as my carrier. And so just going into the settings, you actually have a lot of options to choose from. So I'll scroll down here to Zeppelin, and you can see that you have many different themes, as I just stated. Lots of them. You can change it to uh, this one, and it changes immediately. There's not even a need to respring. You have plenty, just all kinds of cool things. They even have the Nike logo, Superman, whatever it may be. I personally think that the Dark Knight's the coolest, because, I mean, who doesn't love Batman? So the, again, that is Zeppelin. It is a change in your carrier logo, and it's a great tweak. I've been using this one for a long time. The number two tweak on my list is called Ostium. What Ostium does, it changes the animation that occurs whenever you pull down your notification bar. As you can see right here, it sort of has an elevator door opening style effect. It doesn't add any improved functionality, but it looks great, it runs very smooth, and it's definitely gonna make your device just a little bit cooler than all your friends' iPhone 5s. So you all should know what number one is, this tweak has been around since the early days of the original iPhone. Everyone should have it. It's a necessity for me whenever I have a jailbreak. And it is, of course, SB settings. What you can do is pull down your notification bar. You get plenty of toggles right here. You have ad blocker, which I installed myself, Bluetooth, a brightness slider, uh, data, location, processes, which I'm not sure what it is. I think that that allows you to kill all the apps at one time. And a Wi-Fi toggle. You can add more within the SB settings app, but since it is not uh, yet fit for the iPhone 5 screen, I'm not going to bother messing with it. If you swipe to the left, you get some more options. You have uh, a button that takes you straight to the settings, a refresh button. This drops the window down from the original SB settings, but you don't really need to use that. You also have a respring button and a power button, so it gives you some more options with that. Again, this is SB settings. This is a necessity in my mind for every jailbreaker. That's it for this video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more great tech and city of tweak videos. That's all for this one. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.